Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new, very advanced scenario let's play video of Zoo Tycoon. Uh, as I just said, it's the first um, very advanced scenario for Zoo Tycoon. It's uh, one that's featured in the base game. So no dinosaur digs, no marine mania today. It is Paradise Island. And uh, first things, just before we actually get into the scenario description and get into start the actual scenario itself. First things first. Um, with regards to my last two Zoo Tycoon video scenarios, um, firstly, Save the Zoo. Uh, I ended it a few months before the deadline for the scenario, um, purely because I had run out of things to say and things to do. Uh, literally nothing happened uh, other than we won the scenario. I think I possibly sold a few baby animals that had grown into adulthood to reduce overcrowding and I might have bought an extra adult that died or something like that but I didn't build any new exhibits, I didn't build any new attractions or scenery or buildings or anything like that, nothing of any real interest um, and at no point had I, after succeeding in the objectives, subsequently then gone on to fail them and then redone them to win the scenario, if that makes sense. Uh, because the animal happiness, zoo rating, guest happiness all maintained um, above the adequate levels. Secondly, um, Conservation Zoo, uh, I realised that I probably didn't complete that in the spirit of the challenge, and you probably are meant to complete it with sort of eight separate exhibits. Basically, that scenario is a bit of a joke, um, in the fact that it's so easy that you can actually literally complete it in like under ten minutes, like I did. Um, so, yeah, kind of apologies for not doing like a serious let's play of Conservation Zoo, but if you want to play it yourself, you can do. Um, I don't think that it's necessary for me to record myself playing it because, um, you know, it's not a difficult scenario. Why it's in advanced, I don't really know when it should really be like a beginner scenario. With that out of the way, Paradise Island. It says, during the last 100 years, many species have become extinct. Although not necessarily done on purpose, the natural habitats for many species has been destroyed. Governments around the world now realise this and have established an association to create a sanctuary for endangered species. The Endangered Species Committee has generously donated an island for this refuge and sought you out to direct the creation of this zoo on an island known as Paradise Island. You'll need to work with a team of researchers in preserving this, the lifeline of endangered species. Using funding from various conservation programs, your goal is to create a zoo full of endangered species and construct habitats that truly represent these animals' real environments. Because you don't have an opportunity to buy animals, make sure you don't sell any of the animals which are donated to the zoo. Yeah, so as I just basically implied and stated, uh, we can't adopt animals in this scenario. Um, they get given to us periodically. So it's going to be kind of similar, I imagine, to the Dinosaur Island Research Lab scenario. Which, for being honest, was rather boring because it was a lot of waiting around for things to happen. Um, but yeah, let's just see how this goes. We've got 36 months, like we did in Dinosaur Island Research Lab. Um, we have a zoo rating of 80 to achieve, which is a piece of cake. Guest happiness at 93 could be a pain, uh, but then again, Zoo Tycoon animals generally not too difficult with guest happiness. Um, we actually don't have that big a map, although we do have 50,000 starting cash and quite a lot of trees, so we do have quite a lot of starting cash, although it's quite hilly, so we might want to flatten some of it out. Um, guest happiness rating of 93. Animal happiness at 95 is high, but not so high as to be unobtainable. And a suitability rating of 85 for all exhibits, that is easy. Um, because even like certain animals where you struggle to get 90 suitability, getting 85 is a piece of cake. Um, and I think you can achieve 90 suitability with basically every animal if you know what you're doing. I can't think of any way you can't achieve 90 suitability. But anyway, um, with the game paused, and obviously we've got three years to do everything, we can get an extra $17,000 just by deleting everything, which starts us off at $67,000. Now, admittedly, I'm going to have to build some paths and flatten some terrain, because this is pretty horrific. Um, but, it might actually be easier to just flatten this all to 
this sort of level. You do something like this. It does cost about six and a half thousand, but it gives me a lot more uh, flat terrain to work with. Uh, that looks pretty good. I'm just wondering if there's anything that I think that'll probably do us for now. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do us for now. We can also we can always, we can always flatten more in the future if needs be. Um. flatten that, make that nice and square. Right, so we start with 58,500. Now obviously I do need to build some paths. I can't, yeah, I can't build any more out that way, so that's that's the limit. Um, fuck's sake, my phone's making noise. Right. Um, okay. Let's unpause the game and actually start. Right, so straight away we've been given um, some Siberian tigers and Bengal tigers and leopards. So yeah, obviously we can't adopt animals in this scenario, but we don't have any dinosaurs or marine animals to consider. Um, so, like I said, we've been given two Bengal tigers, two leopards and two Siberian tigers. Uh, we might as well start with the Bengal tiger, since we've got a lot of rainforest and grass in here anyway. Um, so two Bengal tigers, that is 8 by 10 exhibits, if memory serves. I've built it so many times, I should know this by now. And this is Bengal tiger exhibit. Actually, leopards require a bit of rainforest. Um, Rainforest and grass. It's the Siberian tigers that could be problematic. Although not, not problematic, but expensive, shall we say. And yeah, I've, I've built so many exhibits I basically don't need to look at the uh, zookeeper recommendations anymore because I've built so many Bengal tiger exhibits at this point. Uh, I don't know where that rock went. Yeah, I, I built a rock somewhere and don't know where it went. Oh well, I might find it later on. Um, yeah, from that angle, it looks like there's a bit of a cliff there, but there isn't. Okay, uh, we're going to need, obviously, uh, the guests are starting to come in. Kind of don't want them right now, but that's not a problem, I suppose. Although we do need to be quick um, to make these animals happy so that the guests don't become unhappy looking at miserable animals. And as always, with the Bengal tiger, don't listen to the zookeeper recommendations and don't use mangrove trees. Uh, use the rainforest fern, it's just as effective and significantly cheaper. So that is 94 suitability, so we're going to need a bit more foliage. We only need 85 suitability, but we obviously want as high as we can. Um, not just for the 15,000 uh, reward money for hitting 99 suitability, but also because the higher the suitability, the happier the animal, and the happier the animal, there you go, um, the happier the animal, the happier the guests become. Uh, we are going to need a zookeeper, and we're also going to need some scenery. Hopefully money doesn't become an issue in this scenario. <laughs> I don't think it will, because we are just doing zoo tycoon animals, but... We don't have loads of money to start off with, but we should hopefully have enough. I'm going to save the game as Paradise Island. And then I'm going to... Uh, build the 
sort of bare necessities. Um, probably going to need to flatten that bit of terrain. There you go. Flatten that as well. Yeah, that's, that's better. Yeah, build the bare necessities, you know, things like restaurant, carousel, etc. Restaurant. Oh, we're going to need the compost building, obviously. Uh, where do I want to put that? Maybe... I'll build it over here. Yeah, that works. Okay. Um... Elephant ride can go here. Change the colours. That's not right. Change the price up. Change this to seventeen dollars. Yeah, I still think you can probably make that max price, but uh, I don't. I don't know if guests can actually walk out that way, because I think they probably actually do have to go through the admission booth before they're actually proper enter the zoo, but I don't know. Um, actually, how do I want to do this? Just thinking about it, I want to put path round here. wide is that? That's uh, nine, or would be like sort of eight I suppose, by eight. Right, okay. So I could do something like this. Yeah, that works I think. So that's 8 by 10. That, that, that's, that's, that's fine. Okay, carousel. And petting zoo can go there. Animal theatre. And just remember I don't have a massive map. But then again, I'm not exactly building anything that I wouldn't do normally. Japanese garden can go there. Do have a bit of wasted map over there. It's actually quite annoying. Guess just put some scenery down, maybe. Japanese garden, like that. I could actually put it over here. Does it fit in there? Yeah, mm, I, I, mm, yeah. I don't know. I'm sort of future planning. I can just put a bit of scenery in like that and then that should be okay. And then uh, the gift shop can actually go in there probably. That fits. Brilliant. Oh, and uh, of course I want to actually raise this up to 29 Island. So, weirdly the zoo is called Sibyl Island, or Cybel. 
I think, I think Sybil Island. Um, not Paradise Island. I don't know why that is, but uh, I'm not going to question it. I can actually put the Japanese garden in, like, in here. Move these animals out of the way. Yeah, never mind, guests. You come into the zoo, there's just a giant crate with a couple of leopards and tigers in there. No big deal. Don't worry about it. Don't question it. Just just zoo tycoon things, I suppose. Um, right. So, speaking of leopards and stuff, got some Siberian tiger. I hope this is actually going to be big enough. 8 by 10 should be big enough. I guess we'll find out if it isn't. The advantage of doing it this way is that I can just use the uh, zoo wall to save a bit of money on uh, exhibit fence cost. Alright, so first things first, the exhibit is big enough. Perfect. Um, right, what's going to need to be terrain modifications? Bit of snow, bit of grey stone, maybe. Fresh water, yep. Grass, nope, not grass. Dirt, nope. Can't remember the exact requirements for a um, Siberian tiger, so I'm going to have to use the zoo keeper recommendations, which is just as well that I've got it selected, so I don't need to pay for the terrain and then click on the animal. Uh, it saves me a bit of money. Too much coniferous, not enough snow. Yeah, they need a lot of snow. They might be listed as coniferous animals, but coniferous is probably not actually the main bit of terrain that they want, or at least it's, you know, they do want a lot of other stuff. Can I use snow rocks? No, they don't like snowy rocks. They like regular rocks. And they want a bit of hill. How's that? That's fine. And then, um, they say to use the Chinese fir tree, but again, it's a lot cheaper to just use the uh, pine bush. It's fine. And also, according to the game, it actually originates from Siberia anyway, so it's perhaps a tad more realistic. And that is 96 suitability, and I need a shelter. 97 suitability. Yeah, I'm going to need more foliage. Ninety-nine suitability, that's fine. Right, let's save the game. Okay, um... How big is that little plot of land there? Is that big enough for an exhibit? That could be 8 by... Yeah, like 8 by 6, it's not big enough. Well, actually, leopards might not actually require that much of an exhibit. I will just check my very handy guide. Yeah, leopards require 70 squares for two. Um, which isn't that big, so could I fit that in? Would that fit in? Do the age-old asphalt tech? Use the uh, good old asphalt, asphalt trick. Uh, is this going to be big enough? Oops. Yes, that is exactly 70 squares, so that is big enough for two leopards. Brilliant. It's almost like I planned it, even though I didn't. Right, leopard exhibit. Uh, I'm not actually going to put these leopards in just yet, because I want to make sure that this zookeeper is assigned to these exhibits. We're actually going to need a second zookeeper, to be honest. 
Uh, I don't want uh, tour guides as usual, and I don't want um, maintenance workers just yet. Can I put scenery in? No, I can't put scenery in when there's an animal there. I suppose that makes sense. I didn't think I'd be able to, but it was worth a try. So, move the leopards over, and then put the remaining scenery in. Okay, and we can actually surround all this scenery with um, low hedge fencing, as always. Just to make everything look nicer for the guests. Seeing as we need 93 uh, guest happiness. It's currently at 89, which is pretty good. Uh, I think I can actually basically just put brick wall here. Seeing as I don't think the guests will actually use any... I mean, it, I, it's possible if I built path out this way, the guests would walk this way, but I think they have to walk through the mission booth. So, there's no point really building the path out this way. But I could be wrong. But anyway, we've, we've put the brick wall down there now, so it's fine. Um, we do want to expand out this way, but not just yet. Am I missing any buildings? I suppose I could build the animatronic theatre, actually. Uh, yeah, that's like the one thing that I didn't build. And I did plan on building it, and then I just didn't for some reason. Probably got distracted. Um, yeah, the animatronic theatre, I suppose, can just go, like, here. So let's put the leopards in, pause the game temporarily, and put the uh, animatronic theatre in there. Actually, I don't like that. Put it in there. That way I can double up the path. Like this. I'm saying I'm a Triumph Theatre 2, but that's just because I built one and then immediately got rid of it. No worries, it's only a name. Right, uh, leopards unfortunately will probably require the cat climbing tree to be truly happy. Um, but it's not essential. Right, they want um, more dirt, fresh water, and that's apparently that. And they want baobabs, apparently. Can I get away with other trees, or do I have to use baobabs? Uh, yeah, apparently I can use thorn bushes and just, like, regular rocks. So we are slightly low on money, because we're only going to have maybe like 15,000 when I've completed everything here. The animals are adapting well to their new environment, so we must have hit 85 suitability. Additional animals have just arrived and can be found near the zoo's front gate. Okay, so it seems like I don't actually have to wait 
Oh wow, it's not even 85, 6 bursts, it's only 75. It seems like I don't have to wait on like, um... Dinosaur Island Research Lab. It seems like basically once I hit a certain threshold, I just get given the new animals. Which is nice, because it means I don't have to do the waiting around to get the animals, but it also means there's going to be more waiting around at the end of the scenario, once I've actually completed everything. Um, so obviously, you know, that might not go on the recording, that might get deleted and... not deleted, but like, I might just cut the video short, like I did with, um, Save the Zoo. Anyway, that is 100 suitability. Uh, without the cat climbing tree. Speaking of cat climbing tree, we are going to need to do some research. Now, obviously, we can't do dinosaur digs or um, marine mania. We don't need staff education just yet. We don't need exhibit foliage. We might want some animal houses later on. The most important thing right now is probably animal care, so let's just invest fully into that. Um, right. New animals that we... I've just realised something. Um, yeah, these Siberian tigers and... Well, actually, the Siberian tigers have been assigned in an exhibit, but... Yeah, we're going to need another zookeeper who can look after these two guys. And then... Bengal tigers and Siberian tigers... Yeah, I don't want you doing the Siberian Tigers, actually. So you can just do the Bengal Tigers. Because it's too far for him to travel otherwise, but these two exhibits are right next to each other. So that's no problem. Right, so new animals that we've been given. We've been given two Black Leopard, and two Grizzly Bear, and two Black Bear. Right, well, let's do the Black Leopards first, because that's going to be the cheapest, because we have mostly rainforest anyway. Uh, and we can put it over here, I suppose, right next to the Bengal Tigers. That probably makes the most sense. Actually, does this only need to be 5 by 10 for Black Leopards? I've got a feeling it, that Black Leopards can get away with a really small exhibit. Uh, two Black Leopards. 4 by 10, that is insane. Okay. <laughs> Suits me fine. Makes it a lot cheaper to build. Right, Black Leopard. I mean, it kind of feels abusive to build animal exhibits this small. But the game's like, yeah, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, two Black Leopards in an exhibit that small is pretty crazy, really. Okay. If you say so. Right, um, we're going to need some grass, not grass, we're going to need some dirt, not dirt, we need some fresh water, no, what do you want, bloody hell, you want grass and dirt, but you didn't like when I put them in, maybe I put in too many, or too much rather, yeah, you only want a tiny amount of grass and dirt, so I must have just put in far too much, yeah, that's pretty crazy. Um, it seems to use the foxtail palm, but I can probably get away with uh, different foliage. Because I think the foxtail palm is actually quite expensive. I can probably get away with like the rainforest fern like I did with the Bengal tigers. Well, they like it. Whether it's the most efficient or not, I don't know, but... Uh, 
I guess it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, they also want the toy, but we can't put the cat climbing tree in just yet. And that's 100 suitability right there. Right, um, you're going to need to be assigned to the black leopards, and then that is fine. Zookeeper 1 can look after these two, Zookeeper 2 can look after these two, and everything is right next to each other, so that is no problem. Uh, let's put in a few more signs. So we've got 90 guest happiness, which is obviously not high enough, but then again we only have uh, four exhibits. We also have a lot of new guests coming into the zoo, lowering the average. Um, and we do have some animals still in crates that don't like their exhibits, which is obviously going to lower the average animal happiness by a bit. Probably want to do the black le black bear next because that doesn't require um, hills. The cheaper alternative would be to actually put all four of these animals in one massive exhibit, rather than building two exhibits. But it might not be possible to get 90, 85 suitability for both of them, and I might not have necessary animal happiness. Um. I can probably put the grizzly bears over here and make use of this naturally natural big hill. Yeah, the map really is not very big. I've used quite a bit of it already. Uh, I think in I think all in all you have to build eleven exhibits, and once I've built the bears, that'll be um, six. So anyway, let's build these um, black bears. Just to check, two black bears require an exhibit size of... Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. They require an exhibit size of... 70. Right. And that's handy because that is uh, 10 squares, so... That's seven. That's ten. Right, there you go. That is big enough for two black bears. Let's put the entrance over there. This guy's going to need to be moved over there. Let's put the shelter in. And rocks. They want a lot of rocks. Okay. Uh, being bears, they're obviously going to need a lot of foliage. We can put that in last, assuming I've got enough money. I can always get the emergency do donation, actually, thinking about it. But I'm not going to have enough for the grizzly bears. Probably not, anyway. Maybe with the emergency donation, but... We might have to sit back and wait for some money to come in. Uh, as for foliage, we can get away with just using the elm tree, apparently. Is that cheaper? Elm trees 125, trembling aspen, which is what they tell you to use, is 200, so we might as well just use the elm tree, because uh, that is a lot cheaper. You see, not only am I providing content of actually let's playing the scenarios themselves, I'm also providing gameplay tips, like using certain foliage instead of other certain foliage. So you actually learn something by watching my videos. Admittedly not very useful information, but it is information nonetheless.
Right, so we did get the emergency donation of 10,000. That is only 94 suitability, so we need more foliage. More foliage even more than that. Ninety-six suitability. Uh, so we still need a tad more. Ninety-seven. Ninety-nine, that's fine. I mean, technically, I can probably just stop at, like, 95 suitability and save money that way, but, uh... I feel I might as well try and get to the maximum suitability to give the maximum, um, animal happiness. We've got 92 guest happiness. No problematic guests. At some point I want to raise it up to $49 for admission price. Probably... Maybe when we start getting like... I don't know actually, we are getting about 50 guests coming in, so... Maybe once I build the grizzly bear exhibit, which unfortunately I don't really have enough money to do that right now. Um, can't build any animal houses because I don't have any unlocked or researched. And I could build another restaurant, but I don't think it would be profitable because we don't really have that... Well, we don't have any hungry guests. Uh, I'm going to increase this to $18. I don't think guests will complain, I think they'll still use it. As expected, all of these buildings are making a profit, which is very nice. Have we got any benefactors yet? Probably not, because it's still only May. Oh, we've got one benefactor! That's nice. Um, We've got... Uh, one male and one female Bengal tiger, which is actually really useful because it means that I can sell off animal one, or tiger one and tiger two when they grow up, and I'll still have a mating pair. So I'll have the possibility that they uh, breed and have a baby. And speaking of breeding and having a baby, I've just realised that if the black leopards have a baby, then not only is that really attractive for guests, uh, but it means I get ten thousand dollars. Very nice. And also the Siberian Tigers have actually had two females, which unfortunately will need to be sold off when they reach adulthood. Leopard has had a baby female. Well, the Black Bears have had a baby male and a baby female. That's really good, because that means I can sell off one and two when they grow up. I can sell off one and two when three and four grow up, just to clarify. Um... Yeah, I don't have enough money to build this grizzly bear exhibit, I don't think. Just to check, it needs to be... Uh, yeah, apparently it needs to be 100 squares. And it's going to cost me more than I have. So basically we just have to sit back and let some money come in, I think. Could probably get away with increasing the emission price, but um, I won't just yet. Yeah, we've got 93 guest happiness, which is really good. Saying that I haven't met the requirement for suitability rating of 85 for all exhibits, even though every exhibit that I have does technically have uh, 85 suitability. I suppose it's because the grizzly bears have zero. And also maybe that only works, or like maybe it only um, says that you've done it once you've actually done it for all the donated animals, which I suppose is the same thing as basically saying you haven't done the grizzly bears because they're zero suitability. Um, but yeah, I, th I think that's just the reason. Because all the animals that are actually in exhibits have 85 suitability or more. <clears throat> yeah, wow, this this is a really small map. I mean, it's going to be big enough. It's just not very big. Don't want to expand too far out this way, because we might run into the compost building. 
and I can't pick up the compost building and move it. The only thing I could do would be to destroy it and build a new one, but that's quite costly. I mean... It would cost me only $300 to do so, but it's like $300 I'd rather not spend. Um, I'm wondering if it's worth starting construction on this grizzly bear exhibit. I suppose I could get one bear, but then that leaves the other bear. And also... Um, there's no point building an exhibit that's like half the size for one bear and then have to expand it later on for the second bear. So, I don't know. Um, do I raise the admission price now or do I do that later? I mean, we did get 59 guests last month. I could probably get away with just increasing it now, to be honest. Wow, those Bengal tiger grew up quick. Bloody hell. I mean, I don't know when they were born, but it's been six months since I actually built the exhibit, so... Okay, that is mildly crazy. So we can sell off one and two. Um, the Siberian tigers are fine. Yeah, they, they grew up into adulthood extremely quickly, because they weren't have been born as soon as the exhibit was built. So that means that they've been born and grown up in less than six months' game time. That's pretty crazy. But it also gives me a bit more cash, thankfully. Not much, but maybe like a thousand or so. start construction on the grizzly bear exhibit. As long as I can get a reasonable um, suitability rotating. We might actually be okay. Um, I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just I just need a basic suitability rating. It's also possible I might get a bit of cash when some of these animals come in. Um, but as long as the suitability rating is high enough to make the animals happy, like the bare minimum, which might only be like, say, sort of 85 suitability anyway, which is what I need for the scenario build. I don't need 100 suitability. So I probably actually have enough money. Ooh, hang on, that's 8,000 just spent on terrain modification right there. Which is like all my money. And that's before I put in any foliage. Fortunately, fresh water is cheaper than coniferous, so I'm saving money that way. What grass? No, I don't want grass. Okay. Uh, a bit of foliage. I know they tell you to use the yellow cedar tree. I'm just wondering if there's any one that's cheaper that I could use. Pine tree. Yeah, the pine tree is only 100, so let's just use that. It's also actually a lot smaller and less impressive looking, to be honest. But it does mean that I can see things a lot better. The animals are adapting well to their new environments. Additional animals have just arrived and can be found near the zoo's front gate. I think that's the same message that is said um, when we got given animals last time. So there's a lot of trumpeting going on. I'm guessing that's either an elephant in a cage that needs to be exhibited. We've only got 81 suitability. But the animal is actually happy with that. Although it's obviously not high enough for the goal. 
So we basically just need more foliage. I don't like building foliage like on a slope like that because I can't tell if I've actually filled up the square or not. Yeah, still only 86 suitability. Which is high enough for the scenario objective, obviously, and it is also high enough to make the bears happy, apparently. But it's not high enough for my personal satisfaction. So we haven't been given the quality animal care because we don't have 98 animal happiness. And we're not going to get that anytime soon. And now, because it's July 1st, we've just had to pay a load of staff wages and upkeep. And, uh... Now we're in negative money. And this animal, this zookeeper needs to be assigned to both of these exhibits. Which he now is, so therefore he places the food. And he can just monitor the zoo. So, ignoring the fact that we have no money, um, yeah, animal happiness is obviously not high enough because we've just been donated a load of animals. Guest happiness is 94, which is really good. And I think I'm going to increase this to $49. Which hopefully raises the amount of money that I receive. Speaking of which, how much money are we actually making? So, ignoring... Um, money sent, spent on, like, sort of deleting things and um, selling baby animals, which is probably about $1,000. Construction cost almost 21000 and then research an extra 2000 so we actually made um well hang on we can add on you know roughly twenty two thousand dollars so we actually made like ten thousand dollars a month last month that seems an awful lot although we did make a lot of money from like concessions and admissions, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. So, what animals have we been given? We've been given, yeah, two African elephant and two moose. Uh, elephants are going to be quite expensive to exhibit. Moose, I think you can get away with like 60 squares in your exhibit. Oh, 40 squares for two moose. Right, so that's going to be quite cheap. And also, you don't need um, you don't need super strong fencing either. You can get away with like sort of wooden fencing. Have we got any animals that we can sell off? No. The, Beng the Siberian tigers are still babies, as are the baby black bears. Yeah, these guys are actually really happy, even with like 94 suitability, and he's saying that they need more foliage. Which we will put in. That's 97 suitability. I reckon, like, maybe one or two more squares will do. Ninety-eight. Oh, they've given, they've given birth. Brilliant. That's the animal fertility for you. Uh, they're giving birth to a male and a female. That is brilliant. Yeah, male and female is the best because then we can keep them and fill off the two originals. Right. Uh, next exhibit is probably going to be the moose exhibit. Yeah, so we've got six exhibits right now, which is just as well that we've got three zookeepers. 
so we're going to need another zookeeper for the moose and the elephant. And we can put the moose over here. It's such a save the game. Although I don't know where we're going to put the elephant, because I'm going to have to flatten some terrain if I want to put the elephant down. Because that's going to need to be a hundred squares. Let's actually put in some scenery, like signs and maps and stuff. I just realised I um, put low hedge fencing there, which is actually unnecessary. It needs to be more like this. There you go. Probably doesn't really make any difference, but. Uh, looks a slight bit nicer, in my opinion. I'll just flatten this up, or level it up. And that way I can put some path down there. Perfect! save the game. Yes, yeah, so I guess I can do 94, which is really good. Although it does need to be at least 93, so we do want to keep an eye on it. Ah! We've been given $25,000 for having guest happiness in 95, which means I have I now have enough money to build the moose exhibit, and maybe also the elephant exhibit? Don't know about that one. But we can build the moose exhibit over here. Um, How do I want to do this? Probably better I do it this way, isn't it? Because that's 10. Did I say... I think I said 50, didn't I? Oh no, 40 for two moves. Right. Yeah, so that's 5, 6, 7, 8... by 5... Okay, moose exhibit. And yeah, I don't know how I want to build the elephant exhibit. I'm going to have to flatten some terrain over here. I might have been able to... Might have been better to build it over there, actually. Hmm. I don't know. It should still be okay. Uh, yeah, moose. Moose exhibit. Okay, uh, moose... Don't want a lot of rocks, it seems. Right, 
Right, well, we've stopped research because everything has been researched in animal care. So that's very good. Uh, obviously, we need to make terrain modifications. And that is actually 99 suitability right there. Brilliant. Uh, what was that message? Black bear can't find any food. Okay. Um, that's no problem. We are going to need a, uh, another zookeeper though. We can be assigned to the moose. We actually have 95 animal happiness. 96 animal happiness. Even with these elephants only on 75 happiness. So that's really good. Because that means that all the other animals must be really happy. What are the moose like? Oh, the moose are actually really happy. Yeah, so... Animal happiness 95 isn't an issue. Guess happiness 93 could be an issue. Though it's currently at um, 95. I am going to flatten some... I am going to need to flatten some terrain, though. Um, for these elephants. It's going to need to be... Yeah, 10 by 10. So if I build the exhibit first, then I know how much I need to actually flatten up. So this is African Elephant. Exhibit, which I don't think actually fits. No, it doesn't. Uh, so this is just going to be elephant exhibit. Because I don't think you have Asian elephants in this. And at the end of the day, we know what we're dealing with, with elephant exhibit. No, I don't like having a map there. Um, yeah, I'm going to need to level this up. No problem. That's fine. Yeah, I don't think I have enough money to completely perfect this. A, a elephant exhibit, but uh, it should be alright nonetheless. I'm going to need this swinging log toy, which handily is the next thing that is there to research. So we can be researching that while I build up this exhibit. Um, I can also actually save money by not using the bear bab and instead using the. Um, thorn bush because the baby bump is very expensive these elephants make noises like bloody t-rex it's peculiar The animals are adapting well to their new environments. Additional animals have just arrived and can be found. I wish that it gave you a different message each time. Rather than just copy pasting the same message each time. And also, these elephants want a lot of fresh water. Right. Um, obviously, they're going to need rocks and then foliage, and then that's that. 
And I actually do have enough money just about to complete this exhibit, which is really good. I did save some money by not having to spend on research temporarily, although I'm now spending money on research anyway, so... That's 89 suitability. Um, we can get it higher with more foliage. 91. I can't build it there because there's like a rock or something in the way. There. Oops. Ninety-two suitability. It will get higher once I get the um, swinging log. Ninety-three. I don't think I want more foliage because any more might l start lowering the suitability. Guess what? This is ninety-six, and we don't have any problematic guests either. We're still getting like forty guests coming to the zoo, even with forty-nine dollars a month in. Um, Wait, what the frick is going on here? Yeah, $49 in uh, admission cost, not $49 a month. Uh, we don't actually need any more animal enrichment right now. Probably want a bit in staff education. Yeah, zookeeper training one, I do want that. Animals will become happier when a zookeeper enters their exhibit. That's going to come in useful. After that's researched, I can probably stop spending money on research because the next one will probably be the maintenance worker one, um, which is completely useless for me. Or tour guide training one, which is also completely useless. Maintenance worker training two is obviously useful. Right, the elephants have given birth. That was bloody quick. Speaking of which, can I sell any animals? Yes, I can sell off... Oh... That's awkward. I've got to sell off Siberian Tiger 3 and 4. Because um, they're both female. Oh well. Right. Um, yeah, guest happiness 96, animal happiness 96, zoo rating 86. And we did get the swinging log toy. So that's his suitability 96. Hungry and can't find any food. Right, well. Uh, apparently we've got an ill moose that needs healing. Which is being currently healed, so that's no problem. Moose 2 is very sick, not for much longer. Right, so we currently have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 exhibits. Um, and we've been given two flamingo. Or two flamingos. Uh, I don't think flamingos require a very big exhibit, especially only for two. So, just check. Uh, two flamingos require an exhibit size of, and also I think a message just popped up there. Yeah, two flamingos require an exhibit of only 30 squares, which is freaking tiny. I can probably just put it like round here. Yeah, something came up. What's that? Oh, Siberian Tiger 2 has given birth. Again? Blimey. I'm not going to complain. A female and a female. Right, well, they're going to have to be sold off again. Uh, that's quite annoying, because I do want a male and a female. Oh, well. Save the game. And let's start work on the... Um, probably not a good idea to get that zookeeper, because it's right near the end of the month. So I'm going to have to pay, like, basically double wages for this zookeeper. Um... Flamingo can apparently not jump or climb, so I can get away with low fencing, and they also have like no strength, so I can actually apparently get away with like the cheapest fencing, which is really quite useful for money saving purposes. I don't save too much, 
It's only 70 instead of 90. And I only need, yeah, 30 squares. That is nothing at all, really. 6 by 5. Yeah, that is absolutely tiny, but apparently it is big enough for two flamingos. Flamingo exhibit. that these buildings probably need to be surrounded by uh, low hedge fencing just to make them look nicer. Temporarily hide the building so I can see what I'm actually doing. There you go. That looks nicer. I can't see where <laughs> the boundary is for these buildings. But it seems to be something like this. There we go. I made some work of training water is now available. Right, well, I don't need that. I suppose it saves me having to research it later. And in actuality, I probably do want to start getting some maintenance workers in a few months once the fences start deteriorating. Right, well, let's put in these. Um, these flamingo, which should be reasonably cheap. Save the game. There you go. Uh, yeah. Now, obviously, they don't want um, shelter. They only want a tiny little bit of rock. They're going to want a lot of fresh water. And a little bit of savanna. Sand, maybe? Yeah. Dirt, maybe? Yep. More animals have been donated. Ooh, we've got some crocodiles. Uh, too much savannah, not enough dirt, and they want water reeds. So even though the list of savannah animals, they're really fresh water. The overwhelming majority of fresh water, then actually like sand and dirt and then savannah. So, um... They shouldn't really be listed in savannah, they should be listed with like sea lions and freshwater animals. That's 93 suitability. Probably get it a tad higher maybe. 94 suitability. That'll do. Um, and save the game. Right, crocodiles. Uh, two crocodiles I think. 
you can get away with like 80 squares, but crocodiles are quite awkward to get 85 suitability, so it's a lot easier if you just do it as 100 squares from experience. But saying that, uh, I'm going to have to level up some terrain. going to cost me a bit of money. That'll do. Uh, but the advantage is that I can get away with using low fencing, but strong fencing. And annoyingly, that's uh, eight squares. Oh well, I'll, I'll build it as eight by ten. Oh, hang on. Tell a lie, that, that's eight squares there, so I'll build it like this. Eight by ten. So I did actually, um, I did actually flatten more terrain than strictly necessary for this exhibit, but uh, flat terrain is always quite useful. So, this zookeeper is looking after the flamingo, and he will also need to look after the crocodiles. So, move him over here. Perfect. Right. Crocodiles. Uh, if memory serves, it's like half dirt, half salt water, but that's probably not correct, so I'm actually going to leave it. I'm just going to put some salt water down anyway, preliminary. Because I know they definitely want some salt water. And also some foliage. I can't remember if they want water reeds or uh, water lilies. I think they want water lilies in actuality. Which is also very daft, but... Uh, Right, we've now got 10 species exhibited in the zoo. It's saying to use water reeds, but I think you can get away with, I think water lilies is actually the way to go. Something niggling at the back of my mind saying use water lilies. Not just because they're cheaper, but I think they're actually better for suitability. Uh, anyway. Let's fine tune these suit this uh, terrain. Yeah, we've been given more animals. I think this is the final set of animals that we actually get given as well. Right, um... Yeah, I'm going to use water lilies. So we've been given awards that don't give us any money, and it's basically just because we've got... Um, 10 exhibits with pretty high suitability. Yeah, water lilies seems to be the way to go. They're cheaper than water reeds, and that's 100 suitability right there. Right, well this zookeeper now needs to be assigned to the crocodiles as well. So... This has actually been very easy, um, assuming that this is a final, yeah, two, two pandas actually is going to be quite difficult to exhibit. Um, assuming that we can maintain 95 animal happiness, which shouldn't be an issue once we exhibit the animals, and 93 guest happiness, which shouldn't be an issue either. Um, I just need to raise up some money and exhibit the pandas, so then we're basically done. And I've actually only used about half the map. Obviously I still need to exhibit the pandas, but... That shouldn't be too big of an issue. Um, now, pandas themselves, two giant pandas, require an exhibit size of... Maybe about 100 squares? Oh wow, 
Only 40 squares. Yeah, th this game seems mildly abusive with how small you can make these exhibits. Um, but we can basically build that over here on the already pre-existing big hill. Um, what the hell is that? Oh, it's the stable! It's a stable poking through. I didn't know what that was. It looked like some kind of weird sculpture thing. Uh, right, well, yeah, so only only 40 squares for two giant panda. That is uh, crazy. Uh, I am going to check, actually, just to check that these animals haven't grown up or anything like that. And Ah, there you go. Leopard needs to be sold off. Black Leopard are fine. Black Bear, they need to be sold off. Um, did I say something about... Oh no, I thought it said something about animal being sick. Okay, so there's five and six which are both female. Three and four can remain because they're male and female. One and two need to be sold off. Grizzly Bear, they're fine for now. Moose is fine for now. Elephant is fine for now. Right. Um, yeah. So let's build a... Whoops. 4 by 10 exhibit. Or 8 by 5 actually. That's 8. That is... 5. There is no way that is big enough. How on earth is that big enough for two giant panda? That's insane. I'm probably going to need more hill as well. And I'm not going to make the mistake of um, hiring the zookeeper just yet. I can't remember the exact requirements for terrain, but it's going to be something like this. And fine tune it when I put in the actual animals themselves. Uh, I don't actually have enough room to put in. Yeah, too much snow, not enough coniferous, too much fresh water, blah blah blah. Okay. So they actually want a lot of coniferous. Uh, too much fresh water, not enough coniferous, yeah. Okay. Uh, more cliffs or hills, more rocks, not enough shelters, blah blah blah. They want bamboo, which we haven't got researched, but that's fine. Snowy rock? No. Uh, regular rock. I thought they might want more being highland animals. Uh, we could probably get away with, like, Himalayan birch tree, and then that saves us having to research um, saves us having to spend money on researching the bamboo. More close or hills and a shelter. Let's put the shelter in first. Probably have to be, yeah, probably just use a small shelter, to be honest. Small wood shelter? That's fine. Um, and then the more cliffs or hills. Not a problem. Oops. There we go. 95 suitability. Probably get a bit higher with yet more foliage. Ninety-six suitability. There you go. So we are going to need another zookeeper who can just look after the panda, and that will be no problem. And yeah, that's it. Other than the animal happiness in ninety-five. So. 
there's not really much else to say or do. <laughs> like that's that's it. I don't think we're going to get any more animals. Uh, we just have two years to sit and wait to gather some money and basically make sure that the um, guest happiness and animal happiness stay above their respective levels because the suitability rating is high for all the exhibits. And there you go, we've, we've done all the objectives. Guest happiness 96, animal happiness only 94. Yeah, the pandas aren't happy. But obviously they will become happier in time, hopefully. Um, in the meantime, I can probably research some stuff, like animal houses maybe. I can probably put in some more scenery for the guests. I mean, animal houses aren't necessary. I mean, we've got like 96 suits of 96 animal happiness without the animal houses, so I reckon just I'd only really be doing it for something to do and just to make the zoo a bit more interesting. Because otherwise I've basically got to spend two years just sort of monitoring the zoo without being able to adopt any animals or anything like that, so... Excuse me. But if you look, I was actually thinking that the map might not be very big, but in actuality, we've managed to fit 11 exhibits, and we've probably only used about a third of the total map, maybe half. Um, compost building is making a nice, massive profit. In fact, all of our buildings really are making big profit. Some more so than others. Obviously, the restaurant is the main thing making profit. Uh, even at $49 a month, we're still getting like 40 guests coming into the zoo a month, so that's really good. I mean, we don't really have any expenses now. I suppose we're going to need some maintenance workers. Yeah, because we're starting to get some deteriorated fencing. But we don't need, like... We don't need, um... Oh, we finally get the quality animal care for 98 animal happiness. Um, which has only really become possible now that all the animals have been exhibited. Because when animals are in crates, it's going to be very hard to reach that high animal happiness. I just noticed that um, the bears want selling off. Or well, the grizzly bears, I mean. So, keep three and four and sell off one and two. And then that's fine. So yeah, basically all that's left to do now is just make sure that the animal happiness stays above 95 and the guest happiness stays above 93. Um, which shouldn't be that difficult, really. Just put in a bit more scenery and make the zoo look as nice as possible. I can make the zoo look as nice as possible by putting in statues and fountains and uh, low hedge fencing here, there and everywhere. Yeah, so we've now got 98 animal happiness, 96 guest happiness, 89 zoo rating, that's no big deal, that can't really go up anymore. The only way that would really go up is if I started researching like animal houses and uh, staff education. 
I don't need a research exhibit for Leage either, unless I really desperately wanted some bamboo. Um, I think the moose actually requires... I don't know, weeping willow tree, which we do have anyway, so... It's saying the exhibit's not big enough. Has the moose just grown up? Yeah, okay. So yeah, that's really all there is left to do, is to just make sure the animal happiness stays above 95, I guess how can stay above 93, and uh, sell off baby animals before they grow into adulthood and become... make the exhibit too small and make everyone unhappy. I hope that the Black Leopard breeds, because then I get $10,000 extra, and I hope that the Giant Panda breeds, although that's obviously very unlikely, because then I get 50000 not that I actually need the money, it's just, you know, it'd be nice, it'd make something happen, it'd make it kind of interesting. I'm glad that I've not had to wait around for extra animals to adopt, but on the other hand, it would have been nice if the game developers made it so that you actually had more animals that you had to adopt, because the fact that I've managed to adopt, the fact that I've managed to basically win the scenario in like 12 months and they give you three years it's not great um, because I now have the problem of what the hell do I do for two years you know it'd be alright if it was like six months but two years is a freaking long time I think I'm just going to spend money on uh, researching animal houses and build some animal houses. Um, I could get some tour guides, but they don't—they're not worth it. Like, I don't even know what they really do. I think they're meant to increase guest happiness, but how they work exactly, I don't know. We've already got maximum animal care. We don't need animal enrichment unless we desperately need the cat climbing tree. Which I don't seem. I, I think it's like the last thing you research. But the fact is, is that even without the cat climbing tree, these guys have 100 suitability and 100 happiness. And it's probably the same with the leopards. Well, 96 happiness and 100 suitability. That's only because he's very hungry, really. So, we don't need the animal enrichment for, like, cat climbing tree. Uh, we don't need the rock cave, or the panda rock cave, so there's no real point researching shelters. Uh, really, I'm only researching animal houses just for something to do. And when a scenario gets like that, it's a bit Lord. I wish this game operated like Railroad Tycoon in that once you complete all the objectives for gold, then the Railroad Tycoon scenario just ends. Whereas with Zoo Tycoon you literally have to wait until the deadline for everything to finish, and I've, I've never liked that because it does mean sitting around for ages. I get it's because, you know, something could happen that means that you fail, but... Um, yeah, I'll keep that fountain there. But then, like, you could make the argument of, well, something could happen that means that you fail the scenario in Railroad Tycoon, but they still let you just win the scenario as soon as you complete it, with a gold medal. You don't have to wait for the deadline in that, but yeah, I don't know, it's just how they, they built it and you kind of just have to deal with it, I suppose. But that is one of my least favourite parts about this game. And other than that, the game is really good. I do really like this game. But sitting around waiting for deadlines to finish is... Um, it's not fun, both for me and for you, as the viewer. Anyway. Um, enough moaning, let's put in some scenery.
I think this makes the zoo look nicer. Uh, might increase guest happiness slightly, might increase zoo rating slightly. And the insect house became available, and the reptile house I think was available as well, because I think that's the first one I researched, so... Um, we can put those in. Good thing now is that I've got loads of extra money, so I can basically just do what I want now. Because I don't have to build any more exhibits. Not going to get any more reward money realistically though. I think that's basically all gone. Unfortunately. But that's fine. I've got um, other sources of income. And I've got enough money as it is without needing one-time bonus cash money. Actually, if I level up this terrain, get rid of the brick wall, then I can put the animal houses down here. Gotta be careful that I don't build too close to this uh, um, compost building, but it should be fine. Get rid of this uh, brick wall over here. Probably actually easier to just destroy the whole lot. And then put the path back, back in. Like this. And then we can put in the animal houses. So that is the reptile house and the insect house. And the advantage is that they provide guest bonus uh, for zero upkeep at present. Obviously you got paid to research them and pay to build them, but, uh, you know, they're not, they're not terrible, they're probably not optimal, and I'm only really using them for something to do, but, uh, they might just raise the guest happiness a tad. I always think they're sort of... Even if they're probably suboptimal, I think they're sort of, sort of worth having. Unless, of course, space is a massive issue, like in Island Zoo, in which case definitely don't use animal houses. Um, right, guest happens 95. Ooh, we're getting a lot of hungry guests. Which means that I can put in a second restaurant. Question is, where do I want to do that? Uh, we're getting a lot of guests coming over here, so maybe put the second restaurant over here. Or maybe like over here or something, I don't know. But yeah, I do want a second restaurant. I don't even put it over here, actually. Pandas make weird noises in this game. I can't imagine that's realistic, really. But then again, I don't know what noises pandas make in the wild or in captivity. Yeah, second restaurant. Should start seeing customers soon. Yep, there you go. Whoops.
I'm probably completely wrong, but the noise that it makes when someone enters the restaurant, it could just be gibberish, but it sounds like a foreign language, like not English. Um, so it'd be interesting to know what is being said, unless it is just gibberish. You can sort of make, you can sort of hear it, and I, I don't know what is being said, if anything, but... I guess it's just sort of meant to be people talking, but... It would be interesting to know exactly what is being said. Right, these, um, Siberian Tiger need to be sold off. Not actually need the game to be paused, technically, but, uh... I'll do it anyway. Unfortunately, Black Bear 5, 6, 7, 8 need to be sold off when they become adults, because they're all females. Elephant 3 will need to be sold off as well. Crocodile 3 and 4 can stay, and then 1 and 2 can get sold off. Right, um, we did get some more animal houses, so we can put some more of those in. Yeah, this restaurant's making good money. It's also alleviating guests' hunger and therefore increasing the guest happiness slightly. Because a hungry guest is not a happy guest. You know, you don't. You could be wandering around the greatest zoo in the world, but if you're starving hungry, you're not going to be having a good time. Um. Not to say this is the greatest zoo in the world. Um, right, where do I want to put these extra animal houses? I can put one over here, I suppose. Whoops. Whoops. Apparently the panda actually likes that terrain modification. This is a mess. Well, let's accept that. And that. Something like this. Put the aviary down like that. And the... I built the reptile house and the insect house, so I need the primate house over here. And the nocturnal house doesn't become available until you research everything for the base animal houses, which is quite annoying, but... It's because the Nocturnal House isn't in base game Zoo Tycoon. It's like um, a downloadable feature or something like that. But anyway, that should be fine. Uh, we can also then put in the brick wall back like so. Put a bit of path in like that. 
and low hedge fencing. Yeah, those pandas are making a lot of noise. Which I think is good because I think they're happy pandas at the moment, at least they should be. Oh yeah, I forgot about maintenance workers. I think I might need more maintenance workers. Depends how deteriorated the fencing currently is. Yeah, it's pretty deteriorated actually, so let's get another maintenance worker. And save the game. Right, I'm starting to get people going into these animal houses, which is really good. Um, right. Let's put a bit of scenery around here. Yeah, you might as well put two fountains in like that. It's a bit annoying that there's not more 3x3 three three scenery, because I tend to have a lot of 3x3 three three areas, and the only thing I can put in is the elephant fountain, so I've just ended up with two elephant fountains like that, but it looks fine. Flamingo 3 is ill. Ooh. Uh, those Siberian tigers are fine. Right, leopard needs to be sold off. Flamingo tigers are fine. Black bear is fine, or it's wanting to set more shelters. Is there anywhere I can actually put a shelter down? Even just like a small shelter. That's fine, apparently. Um, grizzly bear, fine. Moose, fine. Elephant wants to be sold off. Yeah, it makes them unhappy because they want... They, they like having more elephants, um, more animals in the exhibit, but uh, the exhibit simply is not big enough for three elephants, fortunately. It's fine. They shouldn't... They're still on, uh... Well, 195. Happiness. Respectively. Oh. Don't quite know what happened there. My game sort of... Took ages to save. I was thinking... It, it, it almost felt like my game froze as I saved it there, but um, it just took an extraordinarily long time to save for some reason. Yeah, so we still have like... We've not even used half the time. And yet, I feel like I've done basically everything I want to do in this scenario. Besides just a bit more research, I suppose. Might as well research the tour guide training. Or the staff education to get the... Because um... we do want zookeeper training too. And maintenance worker training too. Meaning that zookeepers 
move faster and maintenance workers repair fences faster. We've got the money to spend. It's not like we have to. It's not like we, we need money for anything in particular right now. And the zoo is very profitable anyway, so we may as well. The nocturnal house, when we get it, can go over here, I suppose. So Rain Tiger is ill, that's not good. We've got two hungry guests, but I think we don't need another restaurant. And also, if we did build another restaurant, I don't know where it would go. Maybe over here? Could be worthwhile, I suppose, maybe. In fact, let's, let's do that. Let's get another restaurant going over here. I mean, I could even go for, like, the Rainforest restaurant, but, uh... No, let's just go for the default restaurant. Appropriately named restaurant. Which I don't like that. need that bit of pass there either, technically. Right, that should help to alleviate guest hunger even further. So if we still get hungry guests with three restaurants, then that's kind of on them. Yeah, no hungry guests anymore. Uh, is the Nocturnal House available yet? No, but it will be soon. scenery here and there. And now the nocturnal house has become available. So we can put that over here. put um, hedge fencing up exactly around it, annoyingly, because it's always a weird shape, the nocturnal house. But anyway, that, that's fine like that. I could even actually put um, fountain next to it. Like that. There we go.
So I still have two hungry guests, amazingly, but uh, I wouldn't worry about that too much. be nice if I could get zoo rating of 90, although you don't get anything for it. You get a, um... Oops. You do get a award for, like, best zoo silver trophy, but it doesn't come with any money, so... It's fairly pointless. That would be a nice milestone to reach. Ah, now the bears. Yeah. Black like Bear 5 and 6 need to be sold off. So now it's saying there's more shelter than necessary, but oh well. It's not a problem. It doesn't affect like happiness or suitability or anything like that. Uh, now the exhibit is not big enough, so we can sell off one and two, keep three and four, male and female, and yeah, we're going to need to sell off one and two, keep three and four, that's fine. Excuse me. Yeah, I think I've kind of done everything I want to do with this zoo. Um, I've got the five animal houses, I've got all the attractions and buildings that I need, I've got three restaurants. Uh, I can't build any more exhibits, because I can't adopt any animals. So, I still have... Uh, well, more than 18 months left of this scenario. And I have basically nothing to do. Which is a real shame, really. Um, you know, really this should be like a sort of 18 month scenario. Maybe two years, not three years. Um, I think if, 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 to make it more interesting, you just simply have more animals to adopt, and instead of having 11 exhibits, maybe make it, like, 15, and that way space might be an issue, although you would still be able to fit another four exhibits here easily. Um, and also maybe maybe have some exhibits for animals that you don't normally exhibit, you know, like some of the highland animals, or, you know, maybe like more actual endangered animals, because it does say sort of like, um, that you're basically working with endangered animals and endangered species, and yet, you know, we basically just work with the same animal species that we've been working with with all the other scenarios. Um, and also it's debatable how ex how endangered these animals were. Oh, there you go, we've got 90 zoo rating. How endangered were these animals um, both now and when the game actually came out back in like 2002? Um, Anyway, I digress. As expected, all three of my restaurants are making big money, big money profits. And all my animal houses are actually reasonably, po well, yeah, very popular. Yeah, we've still got 19 months left, and there's absolutely nothing to do besides just make sure that these animals uh, don't... make sure the exhibits don't become overpopulated, and uh, selling off animals. We are going to need more maintenance workers, though, actually. 
So where's where's the fencing deteriorated? There it is. Actually hide everything just so I can see deteriorated fencing easier. I don't know how many maintenance workers I'm going to need with 11 exhibits. Uh, five or so might be enough. Because the thing is, is unlike dinosaurs that will try and escape at every possible opportunity, you don't really have to worry about zoo tycoon animals escaping, as long as you keep the fencing reasonably maintained. And the thing is, is that's damaged, but it's not completely and utterly broken. You know, it's just slightly deteriorated. It's not. I don't think the animal would escape out of that if they could. Whereas a dinosaur would just break through and escape anyway. Or at least it would if it were an Allosaurus, Spinosaurus, or T Rex. But yeah, I still have them. Um, 18 and a half months left with basically nothing to do. Uh, once this Mason's Work Training 2 finishes, that's basically it for research as well because we don't need um, we don't need enrichment or shelters. And we certainly don't need uh, Mason's Work Training 3 because that deals with filters, which obviously we can't get because that's marine mania. And we don't need tour guide training because we don't have any tour guides. I'm also coming up for the two hour mark, so I'm going to have to end this part soon. Right, these bears need selling off. Seven and eight, they need selling off. Okay, so I'm just going to save the game and say that we've got 18 and a half months left of the scenario and I have completed the scenario objectives. So I will say thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, share, comment, subscribe. That is the end of Paradise Island Part 1. I say Part 1 because Part 2 is basically just going to be quite dull and... I may record it, I might not. I, I think I'll record it, but then it's just a case of will I upload it or not. It depends if anything actually happens. Um, but if not, then that is the end of Paradise Island. Um, take care, folks. Have a nice day. And hopefully future Zoo Tycoon is going to be a bit more interesting. I thought this might be a bit boring, but anyway. Yeah, bye-bye.